Okay, this is the November 2014 redox reaction question for grade 11. It says nitric acid and copper reacts according to the following unbalanced equation. Nitric acid plus copper goes to copper nitrate plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. Now, first of all, this is an interesting reaction because this is one of the few reactions where the nitrate ion is not the spectator ion. The nitrate ion is actually taking part in the redox reaction. So it's quite an interesting question. All right, so what is reduction in terms of oxidation numbers? So we remember oil rig, red cat for oxidation. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain of electrons. But reduction in terms of oxidation numbers, reduction is a decrease in oxidation number. So a decrease in oxidation number. For this reaction, write down the formula of the substance that is oxidized, the reducing agent, and the oxidizing agent. So if we have a look at this equation, we need to remember that oxidation is loss of electrons. Okay, so oxidation is loss of electrons, and oxidation is also a, an increase in oxidation number. So what we have to do here is we have to look at this equation and see either who lost electrons or who increased their oxidation number. So now I'm not going to look at the hydrogen because the hydrogen is plus one in the nitric acid and it's plus one in the water. But the easiest thing to look at first of all is the copper. It's an element on the left hand side so it has an oxidation number of zero and then on the right hand side can you see this is copper nitrate and there are two nitrate ions and the charge on a nitrate ion is one minus so if there are two nitrate ions per copper ion that means this one must be two plus or if we're writing it in terms of oxidation numbers the oxidation number of the copper here is plus two so oxidation is n increase in oxidation number. So we can already see that the copper went from 0 to plus 2. So the copper Cu, and it says write the formula, so we write Cu, copper has been oxidized. Now in the next part, they're vaguely trying to trick you. They said, what is the reducing agent? You need to know that the reducing agent is actually oxidized. The reducing agent is oxidized. So it loses electrons, but it says uh, allocate oxidation numbers to the relevant species and then explain the answer. So the reducing agent is oxidized, so its oxidation number must increase. Okay, so we already just worked it out here that the substance that is oxidized is copper. So the reducing agent is also copper. And then if we want to explain it in terms of oxidation numbers, copper went from 0 to plus 2 in the copper 2 plus iron. So copper is the reducing agent. Okay, now it asks you for the oxidizing agent. So the oxidizing agent is reduced. And if you remember oil rig red cat, okay, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So if the oxidizing agent is itself reduced, so it gains electrons. So we write this as it gains electrons. Now what gained electrons over here? And so to explain this more nicely, we actually have to look at the oxidation numbers here. If we look at nitric acid, okay, in nitric acid, it's going to overall equal zero because it's a neutral um, compound. But we've got one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygens, okay? So the hydrogen is always plus one. We're not sure about what the nitrogen is, and the oxygens are normally negative 2, okay, and this is going to equal 0. So on this side, I've got plus 1, subtract 6, 
plus the nitrogen, okay? So plus one subtract six, by my reckoning is negative five, so five is going to be the oxidation number on this side, okay? And then on the other side, the nitro nitrogen is in the nitrate ion, and so I've got the nitrogen and the two oxygens, so the nitrogen is going to be um, whatever this is, the two times negative two, this is going to equal zero. So the nitrogen over here must be four, because four minus four gives you zero. So it has been reduced, its oxidation number has been reduced. So this is not proving it gained electrons, but this does show you in terms of oxidation number that it's been um, re uh, reduced. So if we want to exactly know what's going on here, we know that NO3 minus is going to NO2. So somewhere in here it must be gaining electrons. The easiest way to figure this out is to get out your table of redox potentials, okay? And look for the nitrate to nitrogen dioxide reaction. So somewhere in here is the nitrate to nitrogen dioxide reaction. Now be careful, there is a nitrate to nitrogen monoxide reaction, but we are looking for the nitrate to nitrogen dioxide reaction. And remember, the forward reaction on this table is the reduction reaction. So we're looking for the reduction reaction, and this is actually what the reduction reaction is. NO3 minus plus 2H plus plus an electron goes to NO2 plus H2O. But I think they are satisfied if you were to write NO3 minus plus electrons go to NO2, or you just say the NO3 minus gained electrons to form NO2. And it's not a balanced equation. If you start writing this, you kind of really need to take the balanced equation from the data sheet. But if you write it in words, which is what they ask you to do, explain the answer in terms of electron transfer. You say the NO3 minus gained electrons to form NO2. You can write it was reduced. Okay, so is the oxidizing agent. All right, now it says to you, balance the equation using the iron electron method. Show the oxidation and reduction half reactions during the balancing. So the first reaction is really easy. We know that copper is going to go to copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons. We can find this in the table as well if we have a look here. We go back to our table over here. Make sure you get the copper 2 plus reaction. Okay, here is the copper 2 plus reaction. But as you can see, we are going to want the reverse reaction because the reaction in that direction is the oxidation reaction. So the two reactions that we've got here is the reverse reaction for the copper, okay, and the forward reaction for the nitrate ion. So the nitrate ion was NO3 minus plus 2H plus. Now those protons are coming from its nitric acid. So the protons are coming from the dissociation of the nitric acid or the ionization of the nitric acid. Okay, our problem here is the electrons. If we're going to look at this, can you see here is one electron? Here is two electrons. We're going to have to balance it, okay? And we balance it by multiplying this equation by 2. We will multiply the whole of this equation with one electron by 2 to make it 2 electrons. Okay. And then we will go back to the other page and write this out. So let's go back to the other page and write this out slightly more neatly. Okay. We've got the copper reaction here. And now we're going to put the nitrate at reaction. Okay. And the nitrate reaction says NO3 minus plus two protons plus an electron goes to the nitrogen dioxide 
and the water. Okay, and now this is the one that we are going to multiply by 2. So 2 water, 2 nitrogen dioxide, 2 electrons, which is the most important part, 4 protons, and 2 nitrate ions. I've just multiplied all the coefficients by 2, and then these two electrons cancel each other out with those two electrons, because I've got two electrons on the left-hand side and two electrons on the right-hand side. So if we take what's on the left-hand side and then what's on the right-hand side, okay, you'll see that... It says balance the equation using the ion electron method, show the oxidation and reduction half reaction. So he has the oxidation half reaction, he has the reduction half reaction, then we've multiplied it by 2, and we've got this overall reaction here. And I've left out some of the nitrate ions, the nitrate ions that are in this orig original equation over here, because they're just kind of spectating. Okay. So, there we go, that is the balanced equation.